Hi guys, uh, Bartek here. Welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, we will be making a drawer for my uh, wooden boxes that you may remember from uh, other episodes. But before we go to the drawer, let's do some tests. What I want to uh, want to do is to make a drawer uh, for my wooden boxes. Uh, those boxes are 16 cm height, so the drawer should be more or less 7, 7.5. I've got uh, some uh, drawers here for my sanding papers, uh, some paints and, and all this stuff, uh, but they are 20 cm height, so they are too high and I don't need them here. That's my storage for, for scraps and it will stay like this, just a little bit uh, smaller. So what we need to do is to measure the span. In my case it's uh, 125. Add some support on both sides. Uh, left, right and front and bottom. Add some sliders. I don't, I don't want to use the uh, drawer rails. A few reasons. First, I don't have them. Second, they are not cheap. Uh, and the third one, I don't need them. I built those two uh, drawers without uh, rails and they worked pretty pretty fine. It's just a workshop, it doesn't have to be uh, fancy. So let's do measurements, cuts and we will uh, make it happen today. I did my uh, measurements. And uh, let's do some joints. So we have four legs that we need to we need to join. Span between legs is one twenty five centimeters. Uh, in this direction is eighty two centimeters. Each of those legs. It looks like this, and uh, this the, the dimension is 10 centimeters. So I would add some uh, support for my uh, beam. Uh, and how it will look like? Those beams I will made from uh, 18, cent 18 millimeters uh, plywood, and. Uh, Eighty millimeters. Mm. And uh, I already tested in my previous drawers around eight to nine centimeters on height. It should be good enough to, to carry all the weight. On top of this, I will make a beams going in this direction, also from the eighteen. I will make one on the left side. Then, because I would like to have uh, my boxes are uh, has constant dimension, so uh, eight centimeters or multiplication of, of eight centimeters, um, I would like to have five uh, in the one row. Uh, so I need forty centimeters uh, space plus, of course, uh, borders. So it will be more or less forty-three centimeter span. Then some spacer for, for the rails and again the same 43 centimeters uh, the last one uh, here i didn't decide yet maybe i will make a, a drawer for my uh, welding uh, stuff because it's pretty heavy and i've got it in my my first drawer uh, but it's extremely heavy so maybe i will make uh, some space here we will figure out this later for now i need to make a two drawer each more or less 43 centimeters uh, wide. And how the drawers will look like. So that's our bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so there should be uh, five boxes. Maybe like this one will be more clear. 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay. And uh, five in this direction should be fine as well. So that gives us uh, more or less uh, also 40 uh, centimeters. I will make this a little bit loose uh, just to make it uh, easier to use. But after, because that will be just for let's say around 41 centimeters, so it will not be very deep. Uh, so I would like to add some extra space here, let's say the maybe 10 centimeters, maybe 12. Uh, we will see. That will be the end of our drawer. And this space will not be uh, dedicated for, for boxes, uh, but for some backups. Uh, I've got some nails for the nail gun, some other uh, like uh, bamboo sticks, that I need you know, just a bunch of them uh, in my main drawer. But here will be like a storage room for backup things. Um, and I will make two of them on the sides, from the uh, side view. That will be a front. That will be a bottom. Uh, from here to here, it should be more or less seven centimeters. Here will be that will be um, a stock, so it can be like a one centimeter. Yeah, because our beam will be here. Uh, so it is just to uh, stop the drawer to not fall into the. Uh, workbench and uh, we need some stop here and also we need to glue something at the bottom to stop drawer uh, falling out and because the boxes are just six centimeters i would like to make the size of the, of the drawer just a bit shorter i would say something between four and five centimeters we will see but that's the, that's the main goal, that's the main idea, how it will uh, look like. Yeah, so we have, we need two, two beams, one 25 centimeters, uh, one, one, two, three, four, so far, four, 82 centimeters, yeah. and we need one, two, three, four, ten centimeters to add uh, bottom support to our uh, to our beams. Plan is just a guideline, uh, so I did a small tour around my garage, and I found that uh, I have plenty of scraps of um, twelve millimeters plywood. So I changed my plan to make a, a bottom uh, beams not from eighteen millimeters plywood but uh, I will take two pieces of 12 millimeters and I will glue them together. All basic components are ready. Uh, here you can see two main bars. They will uh, carry the, the whole weight. I have four uh, blocks to support them. They will be attached, uh, glued and nailed to the uh, two legs of my workbench. On top of uh, the main uh, beams, we have those shorter. Uh, there will be direct support for drawers. Uh, I will make a small groove uh, in the main beams uh, just to avoid twisting uh, those uh, shorter beams. Uh, those beams in the middle, the, the short ones, they have separator uh, just to avoid uh, turning um, drawers and uh, 
yeah, mainly as a, as a, as a rail that works. Uh, <coughs> uh, here you can see uh, the, that's the uh, bottom part, that's the front part of my drawer. Uh, so to this I will attach some uh, handler. I've got some pieces prepared, but uh, that's something that I will do at the end. Uh, sides of the, well, let me show the second set. Uh, so the sides, uh, sides of the of the drawer are a little bit uh, shorter uh, than the head of of the box. Maybe that will show you how it looks like. And uh, so that will that uh, gives me an access to the boxes from the sides, so I can. Uh, Take them. Uh, also, it perfectly fits to five uh, as a five slots. So I have three one units, and this is two by two, so it's a five. And uh, in the depth, uh, there are six. And there is a space, as I mentioned at the very beginning, uh, for some 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 backups. It's uh, plenty of space for for a backup. Uh, the end of uh, my drawer is a little bit higher than uh, than the sides, and that's uh, by purpose because when you slide your uh, drawer, it has to somehow clutch to do not fall out. And uh, <coughs> there, in my workbench. Uh, there is also a beam supporting uh, the top table and it will stop my drawer from falling out. Uh, that's why I made it from the not from the 12th but from the 18th and also because I have scraps of 18th uh, millimeters uh, plywood. So uh, that's how it looks in, in details. Everything so far looks pretty pretty well. Uh, here I have space, as I mentioned also, maybe I will make a drawer, maybe I will just make a shelf uh, for my weldering stuff because it's, it's very heavy and uh, it occupies one of my uh, big drawers, uh, but we will see. So far everything looks, looks, looks fine, it's time to assemble and I will show you uh, final, uh, final product. And that's how it looks like in my workbench. Uh, it's still not mounted. Yeah, as you can see, drawers are still without the handles because they are still drawing, drying. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Same here. I can take one of my boxes and slide in. Beauty. I can remove the drawer. So now you can see how it looks like. Uh, here we have this big beam. The other one is on the opposite side. Those are not clamped yet. I will glue them. The same here. And that's how the whole construction looks like.
drawers are done and I'm very excited to start using them. Uh, they will keep all my nails, uh, screws, all these uh, tiny things that I kept in a, a paper box. I need to find out a place for my uh, pull saw because it was hanging here. Now I have drawers here. Uh, here, in this drawer, are my boxes. Everything looks fine. That one is empty. Uh, maybe I will make more boxes, uh, maybe bigger boxes, but first of all, I would like to start using them to see uh, what size uh, I need. And here I have an empty space, empty slot. Um, maybe I will make a shelf, maybe another uh, small uh, drawer. We'll see. But you can see that even without the rails, everything works fine. I made this handler uh, from two uh, pieces of uh, plywood. Uh, I just sent them just to make a little bit uh, smoother in touch. Uh, it may look a little bit uh, weird that uh, the level of the handler is at the bottom of the uh, of the drawer. The thing is that <coughs> the main uh, the, the top layer of, of my workbench uh, is mainly for clamping. I mean, not mainly, but uh, I use for clamping very often. So that's why I would like to have a, a, a lot of space here to be able to. Uh, to use those clamps. That's why the drawers are very deep into my workbench. And because I will be using them from the standing position, uh, those beams uh, can be quite annoying if the handle will be uh, up. That's why they are uh, moved down a little bit. But still, they are uh, not below the bottom of the drawer. So everything is as it should be. So that's all in this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.